As a passive income focused investor, I'm always on the lookout for new funds that are designed to really give me a consistent source of passive income. Covered call funds, of course, are always high on my priority list. I am not against any asset class as long as it provides me income. I'm big on diversification, as you all well know. So cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether have definitely taken the investing community by storm in recent years. You hear crazy stories about these young kids uh, making fortunes off this stuff. But when you when you try to understand what crypto is or what the blockchain is, your head starts to spin, right? Especially if you're more, more of an old school classic investor like myself. I'll admit myself, I don't fully understand, you know, how crypto works, what the blockchain is really. But one thing is for sure, it looks like uh, it's here to stay and it might be a very important part of the future, right? I simply look at it as a new asset class in order to diversify my portfolio. And as you all know, I'm a very firm believer in diversification as long as it provides me a source of income. So unless you start exploring uncharted waters here, like setting up bots uh, or other crazy things that I've heard of, uh, there hasn't been really an easy way to get a consistent source of passive income with crypto um, from a classic or regular investing account like a TFSA or an RRSP, for example, until now. So Purpose Investments, a fund manager in Canada who already has two very popular crypto ETFs, one that holds Bitcoin, one that holds Ether, which are the two largest cryptocurrencies out there. Uh, by the way, they just launched two covered call crypto ETFs that are designed to provide you a source of monthly income so I was super excited when they announced these two new ETFs uh, because covered calls. Now, that's something that I understand and I love deeply. So I'm talking about the Purpose Bitcoin Yield ETF, stock symbol BTCY, and the Purpose Ether Yield ETF, stock symbol ETHY. Keep in mind that these are Canadian listed securities. So is it finally time for us passive income investors to get in on the crypto? Let's explore these funds together and I'll share my opinion at the end of the video and also give you some exciting news about a, a future collaboration very soon actually that I'm doing with Purpose Investments, the creators of these two really cool ETFs. All right, let's check out these two ETFs in detail, guys. As usual, always go on the official funds website when you're doing your research. So the Bitcoin one, the Purpose Bitcoin Yield ETF here, the purpose of this fund, the world's first yield-focused Bitcoin ETF. So you don't need a wallet or anything like that uh, for this. You could si It simply trades like a normal ETF, which is very, very convenient. So you could put it in your TFSA, you could put it in your RSP, you could put it in your non-registered account, it's great. And you earn yield by harvesting the volatility-rich premiums in an ascent asset class which is a newer asset class so like i like i like we know right the more volatile something is the higher the covered calls it covered calls are so here you have the the chart of bitcoin as you could see it's pretty volatile and this etf you actually have three listings you have three versions here you have btcy which is the one i have which is currency hedged right now it, the yield is at about a little over 12 percent, which is great you have the non-currency hedge just in case you don't really care about getting the currency hedge uh version which is btcy.b uh, a little bit yet less yield, but you know they're they're all going to be pretty much neck and neck. And then you have a U.S. currency version, BTC, uh, BTCY.U. So you're dealing with U.S. currency, but they're all three are listed on the Canadian stock market. Okay, on the TSX, I did notice that BTCY.U has very low trading volume, so that's maybe why the yield's a bit higher, and it might be harder to buy and sell, but. Either way, still a good option if you want U.S. currency. So these ETFs are pretty much brand new. So if we look at the distributions, there's only two months of distributions that were released. Uh, the first one was 10 cents. The next, uh, the, the most recent one was 7.85 cents. So a little bit, a little bit lower. And if we open, keep in mind, right, these monthly distributions will vary greatly depending on the call uh, premiums. I mean, the yield is coming 100% from the covered call, guys. So it's going to vary month to month. And um, I'll talk a little bit about that later. Let's just check out the, the brochure where you have a little bit more information here. 
So as you could see, monthly yield, yield security because it's it's a regular ETF. Um, you're earning yield while benefiting from the diversification of the world's most popular currency. Own a piece of history. This is literally the first uh, covered call Bitcoin ETF. So it's very, very, uh, very, very new, very, very cool. And as you could see here, they'll write covered calls on 10 to 50% of the portfolio. So it could it really varies greatly. And you're generating yields in addition to uh, the long term Bitcoin uh, return. So basically, this ETF holds Bitcoin long term. So you you will capture the price of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin goes up, this ETF will go up. If Bitcoin goes down, this ETF goes down. But it's more defensive and it's yield oriented because of those co covered calls. So if you actually look at the covered calls here, you will see that the moneyness is greater than 12%. So the covered calls are way out of the money to really give us, uh, or we're going to capture a lot of the uh, share price upside of Bitcoin when it does go up. My my assumption is is that uh, because the pre because Bitcoin is so volatile and the Ether one as well, they're so volatile that they could write out of the money option, not a, not a problem to generate double digit yields so the ether one same concept right same exact thing uh, the yield is a little bit higher i mean look at this crazy yield for ethy it's at 18 percent now uh, basically here's the ether chart very very volatile same three listings if we go to the distributions the latest one 10 cents the one before 14 cents so they will vary greatly right depending on the volatility and if we look at the brochure, it's the same type of deal. You have convenience, you have high monthly yield and security. Uh, obviously, they're going to put higher risk because it's more volatile. Same thing, cover calls on 10 to 50% of the portfolio. And once again, the, um, the calls are all out of the money greater than 12%. So we have a lot of room for growth in case Ether picks up. Here are the two fund managers, Craig Taylor and Navan Butt. Um, so what do I think about... Uh, these ETFs. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention they both have a management fee of 1.10%. You might think, well, it's kind of high for funds that don't use leverage. But my opinion is, is that the covered calls are going to be very, very time consuming to do. It's very unique fund. It's, you know, you, you don't have to worry about it. It's buy and hold. So in, in my opinion, it's worth every penny. And keep in mind that once again, as always, management fees are all, uh, sorry, the income or the distributions are all net of management fees they're included in the price so what do i think about this etf so what do i personally think about these two brand new covered call crypto etfs well i love them pretty much uh high yield without leverage double digit yield so 10 percent or more finally a way for the everyday income investor to get exposure to crypto in a safer more defensive way What's not what's not not to like, right? So of course, let's not go nuts here and start allocating a huge portion of our portfolio in this. But five to ten percent max, in my opinion, is perfectly acceptable. But that's just me personally. I already invested twenty five thousand in the Ether ETF, twenty thousand in the Bitcoin ETF, which makes up about six six and a half percent of my overall portfolio. But that's just my personal preference. You might think that's uh, too low or you might think that's way too high so it's completely up to you how much you allocate here if at all right so i think crypto guys is simply another asset class to diversify a portfolio the more diversified you are the safer you are and listen if you're not comfortable in, in investing in these two etfs then don't remember that the two these two etfs literally hold bitcoin and ether so they're going to be extremely volatile so get ready for big swings in the stock price right but me i'm a long-term uh buy and hold income investor who just wants a consistent source of income so i just buy it and hold it forever so remember also that volatility is good for any fund that uses a covered call strategy because the more volatile something is, the more rich the premiums are by selling those calls. And that's why these funds are easily giving um, double digit yields or 10% plus with out of the money, very far out of the money covered call options, which is very rare and hard to achieve with classic classic blue chip stocks, for example. So Ether is definitely more volatile 
than Bitcoin, so the yield will be higher with ETHY, but the stock price will also be more volatile, right? I'm okay with that, which is why I put a little bit more money in the Ether one. Another interesting thing about Ether is that it's the blockchain network for NFTs. So you probably heard about the recent NFT craze right i think nfts are also here to stay my opinion when who knows what kind of great utility they will have in the future ether is the network which e nfts run on bitcoin is simply the largest cryptocurrency and most wi widely used cryptocurrency so you can always google something like bitcoin versus ether to read up more about it get more information but it could make for some complicated reading i assure you in short it's still a new asset class. However, let's not lose our heads. I think that five to 10% max of our overall portfolio was pretty healthy amount of exposure. But if you wanna go slowly like two or 3%, you know, that's fine. Do whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. Uh, would I ever make these two ETFs more than 10% of my overall portfolio? Never. Remember that diversification balance is always key to maintaining a safe and consistent portfolio long term. OK, so what what's the special announcement? What's the collaboration with Purpose? Well, I'm happy to announce that I reached out to Purpose Investments to do a Q&A video on these two brand new, new ETFs, and they agreed. I already recorded a 30 minute interview with a portfolio manager, Naveen Butt at Purpose Investments, who actually manages these two funds. He writes the cover calls on them. So we will discuss in the next video, hopefully on Sunday's video coming up real soon, we will discuss these two ETFs in detail. I have a bunch of questions for him regarding the cover call strategy, how they work, crypto and currency. So you don't want to miss this interview. Stay tuned. It's really exciting for me to get more and more fund managers to come on this channel for you guys. So uh, to really get the info straight from the source and not just me myself so stay tuned for that video and more upcoming q a um, fund manager videos my goal is to literally try to get all the fund managers on my channel so stay tuned thanks for watching everyone i really appreciate it please show your appreciation by hitting the like button hit that thumbs up button it's free for you it takes two seconds and it helps the channel grow so it's a win win also if you like this type of content this channel is all about investing for passive income there's stock picks i got a lot of great content coming up i'm always thinking of new content so make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time a new video comes out you don't want to miss my new content uh we also also have a website make sure to check it out passive passive income investing.ca that's where you could purchase my digital product the ultimate diy investing package which is on version 3 right now i'm very proud of this product it's a companion tool a reference tool to really help you build your own uh, portfolio whether you're a canadian investor or an american investor there's sample portfolios in there according to different investing styles not just income what i do but there's also some growth and dividend themed sample portfolios in there and it comes with lifetime updates so you only need to purchase it once so make sure to check out my website my website for all the details on this product there's also a video there to where i show from a to z what this product is so make sure to check it out also on my website i offer right there on the home page a one-on-one -on -one consultation service with yours truly me personally it's a one hour zoom meeting face to face in case you want more personalized help where i go over your situation help you build a portfolio according to your own needs answer all your questions help you transition a portfolio whatever your needs are i will do my best to help you i love doing these sessions i limit myself to four a week they sell out very quickly so i apologize for that i know many of you keep sending me emails i always miss the consultation well I can't do more than four a week because I need the time also to do create more content. So um, just look at the little message on the homepage there right on top of the calendar to get a, a status if the calendar is open or not. Um, but I will let you guys know via YouTube community post and a Facebook post when the new appointments are open. Speaking of Facebook, make sure you join our Facebook, Facebook group, which is almost at 10. We're almost at 10,000 members now and going up every day so it's a nice little group where people post their questions they put their portfolio and we all try to help each other out when it comes to passive income investing so make sure you join us there we're also on instagram if ever you want to know a little bit more about our personal day-to-day -day life you could follow us on instagram if you use that social media uh, platform don't forget guys the mission of this channel my mission will always be the same it's to help everyday normal regular working people to invest on their own in order to build their own stream 
of passive income to enhance your quality of life and one day become financially independent. So uh, how do I always leave you? Make sure to continue staying safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.